Someday you may find yourself looking at a Google file that was shared with you that's shared with view only accessibility. Now I can tell that by looking at this file because this large blue button here that says view only. Why would this happen? Well, in most cases, the owner of the file does not want you to change the original contents of the file. Maybe they just want you to look at it, or maybe they want you to take this, make a copy of it, and make it your own, but they don't want you changing the original contents. So you'll notice when I click on this view only mode, I can request edit access, but most likely the owner is going to deny that request because again, he or she does not want you changing the original contents of this. So how do I make a copy of this and, and allow myself to edit it? Well, first notice again, there's no edit commands at the top bar here. To make my own copy, all I have to do is click on file and select make a copy. When I do that, a pop-up window will come up and I can rename this if I want, and I can even select where in my Google Drive I wanna save it. So in this case, I'm gonna save it to a folder that I've created called the demo folder just to make things easier for you all to see. So we're gonna put it in the demo folder, poof, there it goes. When I click OK, you'll notice it opened up a new tab with the name of the file, copy of the CDOS action plan, and that view only button is gone and I now have the ability to edit this file. Keep in mind, this is the view only template that I cannot change, this is a copy of my file that I can. Now the connection between you, this file and the original owner is severed. So if you need this to go to your, um, your teacher, your administrator, whoever the case may be, you'll need to reshare this file. And if you're not sure how to share the file, check out this video we talked about earlier. But that is how you take a view only file, make a copy into your own personal drive so that you can change it, make your necessary additions, subtractions, whatever the case may be, and then you can send it back to the owner if necessary. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact either Taylor or myself.